happy Sunday. The false missile alert yesterday in Hawaii can be used in many different ways. It could be used to create more fear, or we can use it individually as a way to motivate ourselves to think about and reflect upon what we're doing each day, right now, not each day, but today, to seize this day, seize each moment. It's a false alarm, but I can't imagine what came up for people for those 30 some odd minutes thinking, this is the end. We're, you know, what have I done with my life? What am I doing with my life? All those very real, especially in those moments, questions become, you know, I would imagine a thousand times more relevant. I mean, I can put myself in that mindset, but I can't, I can imagine, but I can't, you know, I can't be there. So, as a society, we can see that, okay, this is, you know, I don't know how likely nuclear war cr really, truly is, uh, statistically. It's not bad. <laughs> Statistics with the people that we have at the, uh, at the steering wheel these days. But if that's your fear, what are you doing today to achieve what you want to achieve? It's a time for self-reflection. Make changes today, right now. Like that's the positive takeaway from this. Seize the day. I mean, that's carpe diem. Like that is, watch Dead Poet Society. Like this, the, the, today, right now is the time to make a change for you. If, if you're, if, if, if you pose that question, like if I died tomorrow, today, would I be happy? If you can't answer that as yes, then what's it gonna take for you to make yourself happy? Because you have that responsibility. They're big questions, but they're good questions to ask. I don't know. It's a scary situation that happened yesterday, but we can use it to move consciously and collectively into a better place. Individually and collectively we can. I don't wanna live under the fear of that stuff.